Well, this isn't a normal sight. All right, guess I have to spill the beans now. Anyways, welcome back to the Garden Tractor Geek channel. And uh, say hello to our newest addition to the fleet. John Deere 15 cart. Some might ask why I went overkill because you only live once. <laughs> it's the only thing I can really say to that one. Um, or might as well go big or go home. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, uh, the first thing we're going to get into is this cart too big for this tractor? Technically, yes. And I'll get into that in a minute, but I'm just going to show off our cart real quick. Sorry about that. I guess I need to mute my phone. <laughs> Anyways. So I'm going to show you how this works. So, this is safety mechanism, which my IH cart doesn't have, which I wish it did. But to unlock this, this is a lock. And then you pull that and it dumps. This is actually a very heavy cart. Obviously, as you can see how big it is. I mean, take a second and compare it to the 110. It makes the 110 look kind of small. Now, we're going to get into why this is a little too big, but the reason why I got it. So, here is the warning label. If you'd like, pause the video and read that. And here are the weights for each cart that John Deere made. This is a 15, well, 1700 is what I'm going to round it to. That says 660, or 1660, I think. So, this is a 15 cart. Here's the dealer it was sold at. Now, this kind of cart would have been sold with a, um, what I would assume is a John Deere 425, 445, and a 455. Uh, those are evidently very heavy garden tractors. Sorry, my camera's a little funky there, but um, those are obviously very heavy garden tractors. Now, uh, what what does that mean? Well, if you look at the, lab, or the label here, it says tractor and operator combined weight must exceed cart weight. So that just basically means that, um, uh, you know, if I were to weigh it up to this, which this tractor's probably with all the fuel and oil, maybe a deck, maybe 800. I'm just taking a lucky guess. Um, I know tractor data, I'm pretty sure theirs is without the uh, deck on it. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt, but... Uh, thinking of throwing some wheel weights and then I'm 280 pounds so I mean we're definitely going to be getting um, around you know 1100 pounds maybe because I'm throwing wheel weights and stuff maybe 1200 so we're, we're definitely still going to get the use out of this cart now technically for what this tractor would weigh I would be all right with a 10 cart so but oh, like I said might as well go bigger go home uh, this cart is a little wider, it's going to be a little more stable than a 10. Uh, another reason why I got a 15 is, it's all, you know, like I said, it's a lot wider. I think it's about the same length as a 10, but the width is different. This also has um, brand new tires. I don't know if you can see, it still has the little stubby things on it. Um, kind of hard to see now that I've towed it through the yard, but... These are Carlisle tires. Uh, the bearings are going to need grease, but um, you know I'm not going to worry about that right now. Yes, the cart does have a little rust, but you can tell it's getting it's getting bad, but it's not there yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm either going to repaint this or put bed liner in it. I want to get rid of the rust. So I'm going to sand this all down in here. Um, I don't know if I'm painting it black or green. The only thing is if I paint it green, this green is a little faded. The new green is going to kind of offset this. So at that point, I'm better off just repainting the whole cart. But uh, I, I would definitely would like to get rid of that rust in there. Um, it's not bad. It hasn't eaten through yet. So um, we're, we're not quite there yet. But I'd like to catch it before it does. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you where I got this cart from. Uh, I guess you can say they're going to be my fish, official sponsor of this video just because... Um, 
he's a very nice guy. Uh, so anyways, I got this from Fulton Mower Salvage in McConnellsburg, PA. Um, definitely check them, them out if you're looking for John Deere parts, John Deere accessories, and John Deere tractors. They're very, 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 very professional and they're always willing to help you out there. So, highly recommend checking them out. Uh, I'll post a link in the description of this video. But uh, as you can see, this is a little overkill, like I said, but I mean, if you guys saw the video I posted before this, which I'll show just in case. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to link it into the video, but um, I'll link the video before this. Uh, but I had my IH cart, and as you know, IH never really built big carts. Uh, John Deere, I think they started making these in the mid to late 80s. Maybe early 90s, I'm not 100% sure with that. But right around the era of the 455s and those tractors is what I believe. Um, but yeah, so the only modification I see myself doing, I'm going to, well, there's a couple, but I'm going to fix this, which a little heat and just some bending should fix that. I'm going to get a tailgate. I'm not sure if I'm going to build one, what I'm doing as far as that yet. But, um... I'd like to get a wood slide out tailgate where I can just pick it up and put it back in. Uh, I'm going to have to grease the bearings on this, no big deal there. Um, basically what I'm going to do is grease those bearings and then put a load in the back of this, maybe that wood or something, just to really get the bearings greased. And the next thing after that, um, I'm going to put a safety chain on this. So, um, believe me. This is a heavy cart. Just doing that, there's a lot of tongue weight there. It, it's a heavy cart. And then you load, you know, 1,700 pounds. Not that I'm probably going to do that because, you know, it's not recommended. But, you know, who knows. But, um, you know, I just want to break away safety. It looks like the previous owner had some type of chain here. Not that I would use that kind of chain for this kind of cart. But... I think I'm going to try to find a way to just put just a single, you know, heavier duty, obviously, safety chain bolt somewhere on to somewhere just um, to keep it safe. I'm going to probably try to get it to just go right in this axle housing here just in case this piece breaks away. This piece breaks away or the pin breaks. The, the weakest point on here is obviously the pin, but that's what I'm planning on doing. So... Yeah, that's, that's basically what's going on. I have a video planned for this winter. Uh, not getting into details. Not going to say anything to anybody um, unless they're very close to me and can keep a secret. So don't even try to ask. But um, this cart, as long as the weather works out and everything works out to my um, favor, is going to be used in a video uh, right around Christmas time. It's going to be a Christmas related video and that's all I'm telling you and that's all you're going to know until then so yeah uh, we're going to keep that one a little secret until then uh, I don't know which tractor I'm going to be using for that video but this cart will be featured in it uh, it depends if it snows that day if it snows the 102 Cub is going to be the one that I'm going to take if it doesn't then I'm probably taking the 110 but uh, yeah that, that will be in a couple months so stay tuned for that i hope you guys like this cart and like the video and uh yeah please check out my other videos i'm gonna link uh fulton mower salvage in the description and i'm gonna put a link to my previous video of me hauling that lumber over there with the other cart thank you guys please like subscribe and check out my other videos have a good day